this is a tutorial video to show you how to use final element software NSAS workbench to carry out simulations or biomedical engineering cases. Once you start the software NSAS, you will see a screen like this. In the middle of the working area, you can see this is a getting start. These are the instructions you probably like to read if you want to actually uh, run the tutorial supplied it, provided by ANSYS. But in our case, because we want to actually learn this quickly, if you follow this case, it takes you hours to finish. We don't have that much time, so we actually uh, have a simple version of the tutorial teaching you how to do the simulations using ANSYS. So which closest one, unless you have the, your spare time, you can go through this one. Uh, if you like, you're encouraged to do so. Right, once we click this off, then we come to this area. These areas, there are two parts. One is the analysis system. It tells you what kind of work it can be done, what sort of simulation can be done, like uh, electrical, like flows, like the model, model is just vibrations. And there are also some typical mechanical case, which is the static structure. There are thermal cases, right? And the, the bottom part, these are the uh, component systems you use to carry out the uh, analysis, right? And also, it allows you to use one of these components. If you, for example, choose a structure, you are going to use the uh, some of these components, like uh, geometry, like the uh, mesh. You mesh the model, right? Divide the model into small parts. There's also one here is called mechanical APDL. This is the uh, what we call the classical ANSYS simulation. This is the core part, canal part of this uh, of the system. The workbench is run based on this one, but it's be programmed more user friendly. Okay, so these are the things uh, offered by ANSYS. For us, we only need to use this one. We only can spend some time on this one and learn how to use this to carry out the simulations. In the future, if you have opportunities to do other simulations, you can actually and try to explore yourself. More or less, they are the similar as we do for the classical structure. But to start with this classical structure, sorry, static structure, we just click on that one and drag this one to this box. Then you will see a list of tasks appears in this window. This is called a, a project schematic. In this project, what we need to do is we need to actually figure out or oh, assign material properties for the structure we're going to simulate. We're also going to actually either import it or create a geometry, like the shape of the, uh, the thing you're going to simulate. Then we're going to do the model. Model including mesh, assign the boundary condition, etc. And we do the set, set up, apply the, uh, the force, etc. Then we do the solution. The last one, we're going to view the results. Okay, so start with the engineering data which is the uh, material property you want to assign to your uh, case. So we double click it. You'll see there will be four new areas. 
appears in this uh, working area. One is outline of the material properties, and the other one is the properties of the uh, the data. Here we have a structural steel. So these are the data, mechanical data, physical data of the uh, structural steel. We have also here a chart for the properties, like density, at what temperature, and the density, etc. If you want to actually add more materials, right? Uh, what you can do is you can use this engineering data source to add material, more materials. Just click on this one. Then you will see we have a one more window pop up. It's called engineering data source. We are talking about general engineering data source. Okay, for example, we want to actually add titanium. Uh, into this material table. Uh, just click on this one. You can see here we have a titanium, we have other like standard steel, we have other general material properties here or materials here. Uh, if we click on this titanium alloy you can see the properties of titanium alloy appears in this window if we click on this plus sign right that property now has been added to the material property here so we can close this window then you will see this is added to the system by default we have a structural steel uh, you can delete this one, you can leave this one. Uh, at a certain point, we need to actually choose which material we're going to use as the material of, for example, the implant we're going to simulate. Right. This is just for the first step. Uh, for the next step, we're going to do that in the next video.